Hello everyone. Working on another LTV. It should be a Leisure Travel Unity. Um, this one is a 2017 and it had the factory um, uh, we call this, uh, flat panels on it. And as you can see, you know, right where the panels were, where the boxes were, we've got lots of roof destruction. So what we are going to do is, I know it's not the perfect option, but we're going to go ahead, uh, the panels are going to be covering most of this area. We're going to go ahead and um, cover these up so that they don't get any worse with uh, a turner bond. Um, you know, the size of the panel and then all of the holes where the original solar uh, stuff went down uh, through the solar gland. And then uh, we're doing our own new um, solar combiner box and uh, we have eight panels for this one. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, um, you know, we'll be uh, getting that installed as soon as we get this covered up. Anyhow, let's get this one done. And this one is getting eight panels on the roof. Sorry, 280 watt, six 100 watt. The 100 watts are um, the Eclipse panels. Mission accomplished. The only thing I have left to do up here is bring the two gauge wire down from the roof into the mechanical closet. And then uh, I'm going to turn this off for a second and climb down. Yes, getting four batteries, uh, 3,000 watt multi plus, and a 150, 70 MPPT, along with a, which he already had a uh, 712 BMV. But um, I've been uh, busy doing some uh, aluminum work. Kind of got a little station set up here. And I have made this. So let's go see if it fits. And this Unity, I'm putting everything in the same spot. A little different orientation though. I got two batteries in there. That's the vent hole for the um, furnace to draw air. Uh, I built an, a little cage. I've got some pictures of it. I'll uh, share those with you. But um, that's what this looks like. And then I'm putting another battery right here. There's exactly six and three quarters between this wall and the um, drawer slides. So this piece is going to come in and sit something like that. So it attaches to the wall on the bottom, the bracket for the uh, drawer slides. It'll also make that stronger because this is not mounted. It's just hanging from the top, so which is fine. Um, and then uh, come across here. Um, I go in to the side here and then I have another one 
on the back side, which I'm only going to get one of, but it'll screw into the pillar that direction as well. So let's get a little bit more level here. So then the battery will sit right here. Um, I've got these turned up on the ends so it won't slide right and left. This will keep it from going up. Then I'm probably going to run a strap from here to here to keep it from getting cattywankas and getting out of there. So and as long as that wall support there is a stud, this is already in a stud, I won't need to brace it all the way to the floor on the far side. So let's get it installed.